Hi there, and this is Michael from OTCOnlineTOEFLCourse.com, and I got your TOEFL speaking practice test yesterday, and uh, I'm getting ready to listen to it right now. So uh, I have the TOEFL speaking rubrics right here, so I'm ready to grade it. I'm thinking about what your score might be, right? So let's go ahead and listen to it so the question you're answering is do you think it's better to study as a group or is it better to study alone and the first time i'm going to listen to your practice test without making any comments at all then the second time i'll make some comments i prefer studying alone when i'm preparing for an examination because i've always been alone in the house with just my parents so I have never had siblings to disturb me while I'm studying so I've always had that quiet and calm environment so studying with a group always tends to distract me plus I try to keep my calm when I'm preparing for an examination I try not to be nervous but then there might be students in the group that might be nervous and anxious of the examination so that tends to make me more tense about myself and my preparation so I would like to study a little okay so let's go back yeah I'm gonna put you at 2.5 to 3 I'm gonna put you at maybe 20 to 21 points out of 30 that's it so I think that your delivery is very flat you're not changing your tone very much. You're not speaking loudly. You're not really making any adjustments between your content words, adjectives, verbs, noun, and adverbs, and then your function words like determiners, prepositions, and auxiliary verbs. It's just very flat, very even, very monotone. So nothing impressive on the delivery. Language use, again, it's just very basic type grammar. I don't see you using a lot of advanced structures. Topic development, again, very generic, not very precise in terms of the examples that you're providing. This is a very average speaking task. It will not score very high at all, unfortunately. Let's listen to it one more time. I prefer studying alone when I'm preparing for an examination. Because so you like studying alone because I've always been alone in the house. because I've always been alone in the house how is that a specific reason I don't get that so what if you said well because I have fewer distractions and I can study more efficiently I prefer studying alone what if you said that then you can develop each of those points one by one right you have a little bit better more coherent organization and you have some precise telling detail in the body of your response house with just my parents so I have never had siblings to disturb me while I'm studying so I've always had that quiet and calm environment so studying with a group always tends to distract me last I try to keep my calm when I'm okay so studying w with a group just distracts you say for example I was preparing for a biology test a couple of years back in one of my undergraduate classes and we we're trying to get ready for the test of photosynthesis but when I was studying in the group a lot of the group members were talking more about their personal lives than they were about the course materials therefore I was very distracted from preparing for my exam that's the that's the examples I'm looking for, but you're not giving them. Preparing for an examination, I try not to be nervous, but then there might be students in the group that might be nervous and anxious of the examination, so that tends to make me... Yeah, but in the beginning, you talk about why you like studying alone, but then you give two reasons why studying in a group is not good. So what do you want to do here? I mean, how do you want to frame this? It's hard to go back and forth like you're doing, and you don't really have a nice unifying organization to your ideas. More tense about myself and my preparation. So I would like to study alone. I prefer... Okay, so that's it. So I think that my score is pretty accurate. I'm going to put you at 20 to 21 points out of 30. There's nothing spectacular about what you did. You need to improve your delivery, and you need better topic development, and particularly a more coherent organization, and one that includes specific telling detail. All right? And uh, thank you for doing this practice test. Now, remember, 
Uh, I have a lot of services to help you improve your academic English language abilities. Just look below my name in the email and you can see some of my services. TOEFL private lessons. I have a TOEFL speaking writing feedback service. And I have online TOEFL courses to help you according to your needs. Alright, and email me if you have any other questions about any of my courses.